Equalbot recently launched Equalbot. Equalbot recently launched a fund that they call the world's first artificial intelligence ETF. I bet the AI could read that properly. <laughs> How does it work? Bob Pisani joining us now with Equalbot co-founder Art Amador. Is it Equalbot? The damn machines. The damn machines are picking stocks now, Brian. But we got a big problem here. On. Let's talk to the man. The, <laughs> the important thing here is they're picking stocks. Let me just talk to the man in charge. Art Amador, as you mentioned, uh, the CEO of Equabot, but also the ETF itself, AI-powered equity ETF. The symbol is AIEQ. Okay, a machine picks stocks. Explain us to us how this works. Yeah, so the, the high-level strategy is that the AI technology it mimics the process of an army of equity research analysts that are working around the clock. We're processing about a million news articles every day as well as financial statements on over 6,000 companies. We combined all that information together to build a portfolio of uh, 60 to 70 holdings. So I've heard this before. Your point is a human being could never process a million pieces of information a day or a million news articles. We can't make enough sense of it. Therefore, an AI can and somehow sort it out. Is that the idea? Absolutely. And we believe that there'll be even more information tomorrow than there is today. Well, does the machine get better over time? Is, it, it, is there self-learning that goes on here? Oh, absolutely. So we apply learning in, in many different fashions. So we're actually better today than we were yesterday, and we're going to be better t tomorrow than we are today. Well, somebody has to make an initial decision about some, what we call structured learning. Somebody's got to tell the machine, wait, this news article more than this other news article. How did that happen? And does at some point the machine start deciding itself what weightings to give? Yeah, absolutely. So the whole thing is actually autonomous. So the, the machine is driving the decisions on what, uh, what has more important weight over something else. And RIP actually looks at the data and tries to find the truth and the credibility behind the data. Um, so that way we can see how important that information is and how important it is to the security prices of the 6,000 companies we're analyzing. You look at six, so initially you gave it some rules to say, do this, and then eventually said, you can now start setting your own rules. Absolutely. So okay. we said, Financial. Well, that's the amazing part, Learn, the, the, the unstructured learning. That learning that you're saying is, is semi-intelligent in a way. It's more than semi-intelligent, Bob. Thanks. Appreciate <laughs> that. Okay, let's just talk about what the picks are. Let's just see how brilliant you really are. Here's your top picks here. Amazon Alphabet. Look at this. It looks like, uh, looks like the FANG stocks here. You've got a bunch of financials. You had T. Rowe in there. I know that you had uh, NASDAQ in there. You had Capital One. Uh, these are a lot of financials. Can you explain what it's doing here? What's the logic behind this and why are these the top picks right now? Yeah, so as I mentioned, we look at financials. So we build valuation models on over 6,000 companies, right? So the companies that are in here are undervalued companies, but that's not enough. So the million articles we're processing, we're looking for events or catalysts to push those prices closer to the intrinsic value. Additionally, we've identified that these companies also have a good management team that can execute on their strategy. Okay, so what's the benchmark? How do we grade you? How do you know, how do we know if you're doing well or not? You started on, what, October 18th, uh, so it's been three months. I think the S&P is up more than 10 percent in that in that time period how is this fund doing yeah we're up about 11 percent over that time period but actually going back to what you initially said um initially we were actually underperforming and now we're actually outperforming a little bit so we believe that just like ibm watson believes that the ai actually grows in value and we'll see that over time this is a deep subject the symbol is aieq and remember the primary claim here that the machine is learning new and gets better over time we're going to hold you to that claim that means outperformance by the way to us thank you very much art amador for joining us this is not the end of this conversation i want to talk to this machine later on guys back to you good luck with that bob